As uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of Excel Basics, is going to deal with another important function that's very straightforward to use. It's called the length function. It's actually called the len function, L E N. But actually, what the len function actually calculates is it calculates the length of a particular string of characters or a particular of a particular sequence of, of let's say, characters uh, that occur in a particular cell. So it actually calculates the length, how many characters are in a particular in a particular string. Okay? So what I'd like to be able to do here is I suppose I'd like to be able to calculate the length of how many characters are in each of these particular student names here. Yeah? And actually along with the find function and the length function and the left function and the right function, with them four functions together and when we have I suppose a deep understanding of how they work, what we can actually do is we can take any string of characters okay, and we can break the characters into individual total tokens based on the occurrence of specific characters in those particular strings. But for this video here we're just concentrating on the length function. So actually let's calculate the length of Jennifer Conroy, this particular string here. So how many characters are in the are in the string Jennifer Conroy? So what I'm going to do here is once again to go into function mode I hit equals followed by the name of the function which is called len L E N to calculate the length of a function, followed by an open round brace, and you can see it says put in the text that you'd like to calculate the length of. In this case, I'd like to calculate the length of Jennifer Conroy, that particular string in C4. So once I've specified the text, I close off my round brace, I hit return. Actually, what the length function here is saying is that there's 15 characters in the string Jennifer Conroy. So that's basically the length of that word or that sequence of words. Okay. If I want to calculate the length of all the other student names, how many characters are there in the student names listed in this particular column, the column C, uh, all I do is apply the function down this particular down this particular column here. We go to the bottom right hand corner of the cell where we see that little square. Okay, uh, You can see that our cursor changes value when we hover over it. I click on that, I drag down the column and what that does is applies the length function across all of these words. So for example, Jennifer Conroy has 15 characters, Christine Ward has 14 characters, Sarah Jones has 11 characters, and so on and so forth. It's a really straightforward function to use, but it's really, really important and can actually help us to do more complicated string parsing, uh, parsing uh, within Excel. So guys, once again, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video was some way intuitive and helpful.